Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here today for our virtual video how to sew a button part of a series of virtual events that are happening this week as part of waste reduction week in Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sew three different styles of buttons. For this project you will need a needle and you want to be sure that your needle can pass through the holes of whatever buttons that you are using. You'll also need some buttons. So buttons often have four holes, two holes, or one hole, what's known as a shank button. You'll also need thread. And the thread that you select will depend on if you want the thread to be seen or if you want to hide the thread. If you want the thread to be hidden, you want to select a thread that's going to blend in with whatever fabric you're using. And also you want to make sure you select a thread that can pass easily through the holes of your buttons. So if you have thin or small holes in the button, you want to use thin thread. And if you have larger holes in the button, you could use a bit of a thicker thread. You'll also need scissors as well as uh, scrap fabric if you're just practicing your button sewing or the item that needs repairing or that's lost a button which you'll be sewing the button onto. Do not need an embroidery hoop. I just happen to have one on hand so I um, opted to use one um, and also if you have a tendency to accidentally poke yourself with the needle you may want to employ the use of a thimble which I don't have on hand. The first button that we're going to sew is a button with four holes. You'll see that this button here has four holes. It also has a flat side and a side with a ridge. So the side with the ridge is the side of the button that will be facing upwards towards the sky. And the flat side of the button will be laying flat against your fabric. Next, we're going to go ahead and thread our needle with whatever thread you've opted to use. So you're going to put the thread through the eye or hole of the needle. And you'll tie a couple of overhand knots at the opposite end of your thread. I'm going to tie three. First, we're going to take our needle and poke it through the underside of the fabric and pull the thread all the way through. Then you'll pass your needle through one hole out of the four holes on your button. We attach four hole buttons using an X pattern. So now you're going to pass your needle through the hole that is opposite the one that you just came up. And you'll repeat that step three more times. So up through the first hole and down through the second hole. Next, we'll choose a hole which we haven't used yet, and we're going to pass the needle through the back of the fabric up through the unused hole, and we'll pass the needle down through our final hole. Okay. 
Repeat this process three more times. Now we've sewn our button on with the X. To finish off our button, we're going to pass the needle from the underside of the fabric to the front side of the fabric. However, we're not going to go through any of the holes of the button. Now rotate your thread around your button four times. Finally, we're going to tie two knots to secure our button. So we're going to make a stitch in the fabric right beside the button until you see a loop form. You'll pass your needle through the loop and pull tight. That's our first knot. Then you'll do the same thing one more time. So enter the needle into the fabric, bring it out the other side, create the loop, and pass the needle through the loop once more. Go ahead and trim up any loose threads, being sure to avoid the knots that you've created, and your button sewing is complete! The next button that we'll be sewing is a button that has two holes. You'll see this button has two holes. Uh, again, it has a flat surface and a ridge surface, so remember the ridge surface is face up on your fabric with the flat side down. We're going to go ahead and thread our needle once again. This time, instead of tying several overhand knots at the opposite end of the thread, you're going to tie the two ends together to create what's called a double thread. This time, we're going to enter the needle through the top of the fabric and out the other side, creating a stitch. Pull your thread all the way through and trim off the loose ends, avoiding the knot that you've created. Go ahead and thread your needle through one of the holes, passing through the underside of the button. Then take your needle and pass it through the second hole all the way to the back of the fabric. Enter up through the first hole and down through the second hole. repeating the process three times in total. Next, poke your needle through the back of the fabric to the front of the fabric, this time without passing through one of the holes.
Pull your thread tight, then rotate the thread around the button three times. To secure our button, we're going to once again make two knots. By making a stitch in the fabric, creating a loop, and passing the needle through the loop. Pull tight, then repeat those steps to make the second knot. Our button is now secure. You can use your scissors to trim off the remaining loose ends, once again avoiding the knots that you've created. The last button we'll sew is a one hole button, otherwise known as a shank button. The shank button has a hole on the back side. Once again, I'm going to thread my needle, this time bringing the loose ends together and tying them in a knot, creating a double thread. First, we'll make a stitch on the front of the fabric, pulling the thread all the way through and trimming our loose ends. Next, we'll pass the needle and thread through the hole of our shank button. We'll poke the needle through the fabric to the back and then back up through to the front. Pull your thread tight and you'll see that your button is now attached. Repeat the steps of passing the needle and thread through the hole in the button, down to the back of the fabric and back up to the front of the fabric two more times. Our button is now sewn to the fabric and we'll tie a couple of knots to finish it off. This time we're going to pass the needle through the loop that was created on the side of the button and that's going to create another loop. We'll pass the needle through this larger loop, pull tight, and that is one knot. Repeat this step one more time to create a second knot. Trim off your loose ends, and there you have it. Our trifecta of sewn buttons is complete.